Hello, everyone. This is Deborah Poneman, and I am truly thrilled to be interviewing my special guest, Dr. Susan Chumsky. As you know, the series is all about discovering new ways to make our lives really work. And if you're like me, you may have noticed that your life is accelerating before your eyes, and much of what we used to rely on as stable and dependable is falling away. So now, more than ever, We need knowledge and tools to get us through these times that many people are finding to be challenging. So for this series, I brought together amazing people whose lives are dedicated to bringing us knowledge and bringing us tools so that we don't have to figure it all out on our own, but rather use what they have to offer so that we can thrive and not just survive at this time. And I know if there's anyone who has incredible knowledge and amazing tools to offer. It is Dr. Susan Shumsky. So welcome, Susan. Oh, I'm so excited to be here today, Deborah. It's so (laughs) thrilling to connect with you after so many years. Asked for so many years, and I'm going to read your bio, and then we will launch into everything. I am just... I, I'm already vibrating in every cell of my being. I know I'm familiar with your work. I have followed your illustrious career, and now I get to interview you. So here we go. Dr. Susan Chomsky is a best-selling, award-winning author of seven books, a spirituality expert, a highly acclaimed and greatly respected speaker, and a pioneer in the field of consciousness. Susan has practiced spiritual disciplines for 45 years with enlightened masters in the Himalayas and the Alps and other secluded areas. And for 22 years, her mentor was Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, who many know as the guru of the Beatles and Dr. Deepak Chopra. She has taught yoga, meditation, prayer, and intuition of thousands of students since 1970. And she is a true new thought pioneer. She's done hundreds of speaking engagements and media appearances and been featured in Woman's World and GQ and Cosmopolitan and ABC and NBC and CBS and Fox News, even William Shatner's program, Weird or What? (laughs) And she is the founder of Divine Revelation, a complete technology for contacting the divine presence, hearing and testing the inner voice, and receiving clear divine guidance. And I am especially excited about this interview and honored to be with Susan today because she was one of my teachers on the advanced meditation course over 35 years ago in Interlaken, Switzerland, and here we are together again. So it's really so exciting to be with you. And I know that... If people really want to transform themselves, they are in the right place because you are going to give us a self-authority affirmation so that we can become more powerful, centered, and balanced, a prayer of protection, which is a way to develop spiritual self-defense and experience the divine presence, a thought form healing so that we, we can release negative thoughts and emotions, and just give us healing methods that can instantly transform our thoughts and feelings and make us feel great immediately. So I am ready to go. And what I'd like you to do now, if you don't mind, I know I told a lot about your life and your illustrious career, but can you tell us just a little bit more about your journey and how you developed this beautiful knowledge that you're now sharing with the world? Well, I've been a spiritual student, really, for the last 45 years, ever since I was a hippie in the 1960s in the San Francisco Bay Area. At that time, people were really interested in exploring spirituality, and I was one of them. And I lived in Berkeley, California, where the university is, and there was a large Eastern Studies Department in that university, and the bookstores there on Telegraph Avenue had the Buddhist scriptures and many spiritual books in the kind of university bookstore. And so I was 
very drawn to reading the Buddhist scriptures, to reading Way of Zen by Alan Watts, to reading Autobiography of a Yogi by Paramahansa Yogananda. And Alan Watts said that you need to find a meditation guide. Well, trust me, Deborah, in 1966 in Berkeley, California, you didn't go to the yellow pages to find a meditation guide or anything like that, yoga or anything like that. That, that just was not found anywhere. So I asked my roommate, well, how do I find a meditation guide? What do I do? And he said, well, why don't you just try to meditate yourself? Have you ever tried that? And I said, well, I'll give it a shot. So I lay down on my bed and I just prayed for a meditation experience. I, I had no clue what I was doing. I just lay down on my bed and all of a sudden I fell into an ecstatic state. There was an energy that was flowing through my body from the tips of my toes all the way to the top of my head. I felt like I was plugged into an electric socket, to an electric cord of energy. And I was in ecstatic bliss. And so I figured, well, I guess this is meditation. I had no clue that I had just had my first meditation experience, but also my entire Kundalini awakening all at the same time. So it was quite a shock, but I figured, well, I guess this is it. So after that, I did with varied results, but then finally actually learned meditation through the Transcendental Meditation Organization. A friend brought me to that place, luckily and happily, and I found myself on the banks of the Ganges with Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, and I stayed with him for many, many years. So it was an awesome, awesome experience, an awesome introduction to the whole field of spirituality, which was something that really engulfed me for a very long time. After spending 22 years in the ashram, in the various many ashrams that Maharishi Mahesh Yogi had all over the world, and I had incredible spiritual experiences during that time, amazing spiritual experiences when I was in meditation. But what I noticed was that when I came out of meditation, that my personality hadn't really changed or improved the way that I had envisioned that it would through this incredible practice of TM, which is an awesome, awesome meditation practice and gives people a fantastic deep spiritual experiences. What was missing, I noticed, was something that I had really been longing for, which is the experience of the personal aspect of God. When, when you are experiencing yoga, which is union with God, by the way, in the traditional Eastern practice or Indian practice, you're experiencing this absolute pure consciousness which is powerful, it is bliss consciousness. But what was missing from my spiritual practice was the experience of divine love, the experience of something really in my heart, something that I could relate to on a very personal way. So luckily and happily, I found a way to learn that, and then I started teaching others how to do that. And it's been an amazing journey. And in the midst of that journey, I have been teaching people not only how to hear the divine voice and experience the mystical contact with God directly and to achieve God consciousness, but also I've been teaching people how to heal the blockages and the, the things that have prevented us from experiencing who we truly are. Because as we continue on our spiritual journey, we run a, against difficulties and we run against our own we sort of trip over ourselves because we're not connected 24 7 365 so how do we get connected again to our true nature of being how do we come back to ourselves? so i've developed some amazing practices to help people do that and these are instant practices there are ways for you to transform your energy field and to become whole again or sort of renew yourself to that state of beingness instantly. So 
that's what I'm offering today, and, and it's an amazing, amazing thing that anyone can do. It doesn't, does not require any particular belief system. It doesn't require any skill. All you have to do is just use these simple, simple techniques that just take a few seconds sometimes or a few minutes, and then you are renewed. You are restored. You are once again in balance, in equanimity, in harmony. And this is so powerful. It's so amazing. Wow. Well, thank you. And what I find so exciting is that, well, I guess it's no secret that we were on that path together and that we uh, became teachers of Transcendental Meditation together and we were in courses together, although you were usually the course leader and I was one of the students. And that meditation is so profound but yet what you are giving people is a way to directly experience divine love, not just the space of the transcendent, but from the transcendent to go out and to experience what our true nature is, and that is divine love. And I look at you and I think that you are really the embodiment of that. And I would love to know why people have these blockages, what are the blockages from experiencing divine love, and how can we get rid of them? Oh, that's a great question. The thing is that the reason why people have blockages is because we live in a world that is kind of murky and filled with negative thought forms. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, a thought form would be thoughts that are hanging out in the atmosphere. It's as though when people have experiences and they have thoughts, those thoughts and experiences are influencing not only themselves, but influencing their environment. It's just as though you drop a pebble in the center of a pond. Okay, so if you drop a pebble, what happens is the waves on the pond go out from the center of the pond all the way out to the edge of the pond, and then those waves start to come back to the center again. Similarly, our waves of thoughts, words, and deeds go out into the universe and affect not only ourselves. Those thoughts don't end at the edge of our energy field. They go out and affecting people around us, affecting our city, our state, our country. In fact, they affect the entire world. And then those waves come back to us as they went out, just like the pebble in that pond. So we have power to affect ourselves and to affect everyone and everything around us. And if our thoughts are negative and emotionally strained, and if we're discombobulated and upset, then that vibration goes out and touches everyone around us and touches ourselves. So that's why, you know, we're responsible for our own lives and we touch everyone else too. So it's important for us to maintain integrity, to maintain equanimity and inner peace within ourselves because then we will be able to affect everyone else. And in fact, we're the source of world peace. In fact, our wonderful guru, Maharishi, used to tell us that all the time, that we are responsible for world peace because we're creating it ourselves. So how do we do that? Well, it's very simple to, if you notice that you're in a funky state, is to change it. You know, you, you, you can change it. You don't have to sit around depressed. Uh, you know, there, there's a strange country western song, and it goes like this. It says, you can feel good if it makes you feel better sitting around in your old sweater. I mean, the fact is you can mope around and sit around and feel bad for as long as you want, but then if you really want to change it, you can change it. You can change into the divine being that you truly are instantly through using a few simple, simple affirmations and prayers. Wow. That that, that is <laughs> that's very exciting because in very world changing right there it I've never heard that before I mean the only thing that I hear that people can do to change their mood is to you know take what do you call those 
Prozac or <laughs> whatever, <laughs> whatever those things are, which needless to say, most of our listeners are going to want to stay far away from. So you're saying that we could do some simple things to change our mood instantly. Can you share with us what some of those things are? Right. And before I do that, I just want to say one other thing, and that is um, the very first verse of the first chapter of the Dhammapada, which is the most important scripture in the Buddhist religion, written by Lord Buddha, obviously, tells us that all that we are is the result of what we have thought. Okay, all that we are is the result of what we have thought. Not just some of what we are, not just every other Tuesday, but all that we are. And then he goes on to say, if a person speaks or acts with a pure thought, then happiness follows him. If a person speaks or acts with an impure thought, then unhappiness follows him. So what he's saying in these very succinct verses is that we create our own reality through our thoughts, through our words, and through our deeds. So we are 100% responsible for everything in our lives through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. So nothing ever happens to us. We only happen to ourselves. We are not victims. We are volunteers. So we are creating our destiny. We're creating our reality. And guess what? We can recreate it any moment instantly through using some simple, simple methods. So let's get started now with one of those methods, which is called the self-authority affirmation. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to repeat these words after me out loud in a strong and clear and powerful voice. Now, the self-authority affirmation method for self-confidence, self-worth, self-empowerment, and it's the most important healing affirmation I teach because what it does, it helps you to maintain your integrity, your inner strength, and become more of who you are. Let's say it together, and then we'll talk about it a little more. Now, as you say this, we're going to be saying some I am statements. In other words, we're going to say I am this, I am that. And as you say I am, I would like to pretend as though your I am self, or that means your higher self, the I am self is really the mighty I am presence, which is your higher self. And that presence that we just talked about in the Bible, you know, it says, uh, in the Bible it says I am that I am, which is, how God speaks. So the mighty I am presence is who we really are. It's our higher self. So just pretend as your higher self saying these words through you as you speak these words. Okay, so let's do this together and just say, say these words out loud, strong, powerful, as though you really mean it. Say them out loud. So I am in control. I am in control. I am one with God. I am one with God. I am the only authority in my life. I am the only authority in my life. I am divinely protected by the light of my being. I am divinely protected by the light of my being. I close off my aura and body of light. I close off my aura and body of light. To the lower astral levels of mind. To the lower astral levels of mind. And I open to the spiritual world. 
and I open to the spiritual world. Thank you, God, and so it is. Thank you, God, and so it is. So how does that feel? How does that feel, Deborah? It feels so, I feel so powerful right now. And I have to tell you, I'm sure other people are feeling this right now. It came just at the right time because I was feeling a little bit maybe under attack uh, in certain ways. And I just feel like I blew those energies out of my experience. Wow. Wow. This is a, such a potent prayer. You know, the thing is that people talk about affirmations, they talk about doing affirmations and so on, but the particular affirmations that I teach are so potent. They somehow they have a spiritual vibration attached to them that's so powerful that produces instant healing. And this is one example. This particular affirmation, I recommend that people use it when they first get up in the morning, when they're going to leave their residence, when they're going to be in a place where they might feel intimidated, maybe a meeting that they have to go to, maybe someone that they just feel a little shaky about meeting, if they're going to be, for example, on stage or any place where they they feel a little bit intimidated or a little bit fearful. This is the affirmation to use. And especially if you are, as Deborah, as you just described, feeling a little bit under attack or anything like that, this is the affirmation. And I do recommend that people use this if, they, if they're having uh, really problems of feeling drained, feeling as if they're a psychic sponge, which I'm going to explain what that is. If they feel they're a psychic sponge, this is the cure. Now, what does that mean, psychic sponge? I call it psychic sponge syndrome. And I know that many of the listeners on this call have this problem. A psychic sponge is somebody who feels as though they absorb the vibrations around them as a sponge absorbs water. So that means that they go through their day and they feel as if everyone around them is an energy vampire taking, draining, sucking them dry of energy. By the end of the day, they feel so exhausted, all they can do is just lie down on their bed and just go to sleep. It's just so draining. They feel like they're being dragged through the mud, like a mop being dragged through the mud all day. And this is so true of people who are sensitive, people who are spiritually aware, they have this problem. They feel as though they're just being drained by everyone and everything because their auras are so open and their an aura is simply an energy field. It is, it is your subtle body. And what it means is that that subtle body or that energy field is so open all the time that they're just sucking in all the negative energies of the environment, whether the energies are negative or positive, it makes no difference. They're just being, it's as though they're being slimed by all of these negative energies all the time. So in order for us to have a life of integrity, a life of where we are energized, where we're feeling that we are connected to spirit, it's really important that we learn just a few little methods like this that will help us to maintain our integrity and to increase the energy in our field. So this is so powerful, and that's why I urge everyone to use this several times a day. I use it, and it's been a miracle for me, and I think it's a miracle for a lot of other people, too. I've had a lot of reports of people, just this one affirmation has changed their lives. I can absolutely see how that can be. I... Personally, I actually had to go to the courthouse this morning because our oh. uh, adopted slash foster son is in a little bit of trouble, um, actually accused of something that he didn't do. So when you go into uh, the Cook County Courthouse in Chicago, 
Uh-huh. It is really rattling. And I'm telling you, I was rattled before, and now I feel so much better. I cannot believe it. Thank you. I want more. That's, you have more? That's why, <laughs> that's why I call it instant healing. Instant healing means instant. Because we have the power to change ourselves and to change our destiny instantly. It's so amazing. And it is simply by speaking the word and by feeling the emotion that goes with that. So it isn't just, okay, saying prayers by rote or something like that or saying affirmations by rote. That, I mean, that will have a positive effect, but not as positive as if you really feel, along with saying the words, you say them with feeling, with meaning, and say them as though your higher self is saying them through you. And that is what will produce very profound results and meaningful results. I'd like to do another one that is not something that I devised or that I created. It's something that has been used for mm, about, well, I'd say 60, 70 years. It's been used every Sunday in all the New Thought churches throughout the world. And that is what's called the prayer of protection. This is another amazing, amazing affirmative prayer that I'd like all of you to say after me. Once again, say this as though your I am self is saying it through you. So let's let's do this one. This one will help you to have greater connection to spirit. So let's say. The light of God surrounds me. The light of God surrounds me. The love of God enfolds me. The love of God enfolds me. The power of God protects me. The power of God protects me. The presence of God watches over me. The presence of God watches over me. Wherever I am, God is. Wherever I am, God is. And all is well. And all is well. So how does that feel, Deborah? How does that feel? What does that do? I just felt flooded with light, (laughs) flooded with light. And it was so simple. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Really, to go from a place of, I mean, I was already feeling so incredible from the first one, but a different level. And that just allowed that light of God. It just, I felt like it unfolded me. It does. It does. It's amazing how we can change our life just by speaking and thinking and visualizing, and it just transforms us instantly. That's how much power we have. And it also gives us pause as to what kind of vibrations we're putting into our energy field when we're going to see some kind of movie that that puts all kinds of negative messages and negative vibrations, for example, into our energy field. I mean, after we come out of a movie, maybe we, we feel horrid. We feel like we've just been, we've just been through a, <laughs> a trauma. Yeah. So, you know, it would be amazing after we come out of that to return to our true self, to return to our higher self, by just saying some simple affirmations and prayers. I'm not suggesting you do that on your date, but <laughs> with someone, but maybe when you get home, you'll want to, you know, get back to feeling normal again or feeling connected to spirit. So it's, it's, a, it's an awesome thing to do. If the person you're out on a date with can't handle it, you should probably get a different date. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's true, actually. <laughs> But, you know, I can see that people are in a mindset that they're powerless, 
that they're the victim of all of the news reports and all of the, and then we, we put ourselves in harm's way when we see movies that are emotionally draining, and especially people who are listening to these types of series, because we tend to be open and we tend to be sensitive, we tend to be empathic, and because we are that way, we're even more subject to having an ill effect from something like an intense movie. And now we actually have a way to get ourselves not only back to ground zero, but higher than we were before. Exactly, exactly. And that's, you know, I, I definitely want your listeners to understand that we should not be avoiding life or avoiding traumatic movies or avoiding this or avoiding that. That's not, you know, the way for us to necessarily go. We don't have to live in a cave in order for us to have a happy life. We can use these simple, simple affirmations and prayers to help us to return to our inner divinity. It's really that simple. I certainly don't avoid such things. I enjoy going to the movies. I enjoy all kinds of experiences in my life. I enjoy being in places that are crowded, for example, some place maybe a big stadium where I'm going to a Lady Gaga concert or something like that. You know, there are vibrations that we are amongst that don't necessarily bring us to higher spiritual levels. However, we can return to that higher vibration. We can, at any time, we can use the affirmations and prayers to do that. So, you know, live your life, be happy, enjoy, go out to a dance club and dance and have fun. But then you can always come back to spirit when you get home or on the way home in the taxi cab, (laughs) whenever, (laughs) everywhere, anywhere you can do these. In fact, you could even go into the bathroom during, during the the event and, and change your, your consciousness and your perception of everything. You'll have more fun at the dance club. If you go into the bathroom in the middle and say some simple affirmations and prayers. And then when you go out, you'll have more fun dancing because you won't be affected by the vibrations around you. And when you come out, everybody will want to dance with you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> really, because they'll be you, subtly. You'll become people. more. Yes. Yeah. You become more attractive. You become more magnetically attractive and you have more sexual, actually, attraction when you use these types of methods which brings greater energy into your field what do you think the energy in your field is it's the energy of magnetic attraction it's the pranic energy the energy of life force the life force energy is the pranic energy and you may not have ever heard of that word prana but prana just means life force energy you may have heard of the word chi or ki that's the same thing as prana That is the life force energy. And when you increase that energy in your energy field, you become more charismatic. You have more power. The most famous actresses and actors and politicians and all the people that are celebrities, they have a tremendous amount of this magnetic attraction, this energy. And we call that prana or chi or ki. And that magnetic energy has attraction power it attracts wealth it attracts health it attracts money it attracts love so if you want to become more attractive begin to use some simple simple methods that i am handing you that are so easy you don't even you know it's like no brainer it isn't like you have to compose these yourself or anything you just read them out loud and use them and they have tremendous power. If you use an affirmation such as the self-authority affirmation, use that a few times a day, you're going to be more successful. It's just the way it is. You're going to be more successful. You're going to have more love, more money, all of that in your life because you are more yourself. You have greater integrity. You have greater equanimity, greater equilibrium. In every situation, you'll have more fun. This sounds like this is the real law of attraction. It is. In fact, it is. When people speak about the law of attraction, okay, that's something that was popularized through the movie and the book, The Secret. So that movie and book tells us 
that we can attract to ourselves that which we put out into the universe. Well, here's a way for you to use that law of attraction in a powerful, powerful way by doing specific things, using specific affirmative prayers that will instantly transform you. Wow. This sounds like it gives you concrete tools, and this is what people are looking for instead of just theory that you have to try to figure it out yourself, what it's saying. These are concrete tools that we could do every day. And could we even overcome karma by using these tools? Okay. So let's uh, talk about what karma is. So karma is a Sanskrit word, and that word means action. All right? Action. That's all it means. It doesn't mean payback. It doesn't mean you get your just desserts. It doesn't mean anything like that. It means action. So what we have been talking about through this call is that we create our destiny through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. And specifically, we are creating it through words in this particular teleseminar because we're using our words consciously to change our destiny. So karma means action, and action means thoughts, words, and deeds. So the law of karma states that it is done unto you according to your belief. That's what the law of karma states. It states that whatever it is that your true belief and true conviction is, that's what is going to go out into the universe, and that's when it's going to come back to you, just like those waves that go out from the center of the pond. So if we have the deepest conviction that we deserve, for example, to be wealthy, to be happy, to have love, then that's exactly what will happen on our lives because we are creating our destiny ourselves through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. And that's what the law of karma is. The law of karma is that you are creating your own destiny. So when we use specific affirmative prayers and methods that I'm showing you today, you're changing your destiny in a positive, powerful direction. And in fact, I teach people that you can overcome the law of karma through what I call the law of grace. And the law of grace is the law of perfection everywhere now, which states, the law of grace states that with God, all things are possible. So therefore, you can create any and all things through the power and the presence of God. And if you don't like the word God, you can substitute that for goddess or the universe or whatever you like to call it. I happen to like the word God. I don't have any problem with that word. But if you have a problem with the word, you know, just delete it and use another word instead. So that power of God or spirit or whatever you like to call it can change your destiny. It, it, with God or with spirit, all things are possible. And that is the law of grace that overcomes any previous actions. In other words, if that, if that pebble is thrown in the center of the pond and those vibrations are going out, you can change the effect of those vibrations through the law of grace that states with God, all things are possible. So through the miracle-making power of God, through the wish-fulfilling tree that is God, through the power of God that always says yes to every subconscious and true request, our deepest request, God always says yes to that, we create our own destiny. So you can do that. You have the power to do that. And that's what these simple, simple instant healing methods are helping you to do. Then I have one more question because that absolutely makes complete sense. And what if you have like kind of spontaneous negative thoughts or negative emotions? Like just you create these thought forms. I mean, can you heal those 
um, through, I, I know you're going to say yes. <laughs> Can you heal those <laughs> through the power of grace? Is there some specific, do we, do we use one of the two statements or the sentences that you gave us when we spontaneously feel in a negative mood or we say negative things or, you know, we just feel like there's negative thought forms around. Right. So the fact is, Deborah, that in the offer that I'm giving people today, there are dozens of these amazing affirmative prayers. We just got started. We just said two of them so far. Okay. Okay. (laughs) But in fact, you're going to actually get dozens of them in this package that we're offering today. Okay, so one of those would be what I call the thought form healing prayer. And we're going to do that today together right now. We're going to use the thought form healing prayer. So once again, you're going to be saying this out loud and repeating it after me, but this prayer is a little different. In this prayer, there's two blank spaces. And in the first blank space, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes And you're going to just say whatever negative thoughts and feelings are coming up for you, you say them out loud, whether that be fear, anger, doubt, confusion, sadness, pain, limitation, frustration, whatever those negative thoughts and emotions are, you're just going to say them out loud. And then in the second blank space, you're going to say the opposites of those. In other words, you're going to say, happiness, fulfillment, joy, freedom, truth, perfection, wisdom, strength, power, and forgiveness, love. Just say positive, positive things that are the opposites of the ones you said before. So, for example, if you say the word confusion, now in the second blank space you say clarity. If you said the word resentment in the second blank space, you'll say forgiveness. These are just some examples. <clears throat> so you'll just be saying a few things, whatever is coming up for you in the first blank space, and then in the second blank space, just say the opposites of those. So that's understandable, right, Deborah? Yes, yes, yes. And you want me to do this when we do the exercise? Um, No, you don't have to. You don't have to expose your negative. (laughs) I want you to do it. Just sort of whisper it to yourself. Okay. You don't have to tell everybody what negative things you're thinking right now. Uh, You don't want everybody everybody to know that I want to, like, strangle my kids or, you know, anything like that. Okay. Nothing like that, right. But all of you who are at home now listening or at the office listening, just say it out loud if you can, as long as, you know, you're not using headphones and somebody else is wandering about in your cubicle or whatever. So um, what I'd like you to do is say, say them out loud if you can. Otherwise, whisper it out loud and just say whatever's coming up for you. So we're just going to do this together. So uh, just repeat after me. I call upon the Holy Spirit. I call upon the Holy Spirit. The spirit of truth and wholeness. The spirit of truth and wholeness. To eliminate all negative thoughts and emotions. To eliminate all negative thoughts and emotions. That no longer serve me. That no longer serve me. I now release from my mind. I now release from my mind. All limiting thoughts and feelings. All limiting thoughts and feelings. Of. Of. And now just close your eyes and say the negative thoughts and feelings that are coming up for you at this time. These negative thoughts and feelings, these negative thoughts and feelings are now lifted, are now lifted, blessed, healed, released, blessed, healed, released, and let go, 
and let go into the light of God's love and truth. Into the light of God's love and truth. And they are gone. And they are gone. I now welcome and embrace. I now welcome and embrace. And accept new and, creative thoughts. Thought. And accept new creative thoughts. And emotions. And emotions. Of. Now uh, say the opposite. What you said before. Love, light, peace, joy, happiness, fulfillment, grace, self-confidence, self-worth, self-authority. Say whatever the positive thoughts and emotions are. I am in balance. I am in balance. I am in control. I am in control. Thank you, God, and so it is. Thank you, God, and so it is. So how did that feel, Deborah? What what was the result? It is it's just amazing to me again how simple this is, but I feel a shift in my mind, in my physiology in my energy field such a and when you said i am in balance it was exactly what i needed today and i felt it it was like i am when you say we use those words i am you were explaining it before very powerful so powerful we can change our thoughts and emotions instantly okay we don't necessarily have to run to the health professional every minute, every time we get upset and depressed. We can actually change our own thoughts and emotions ourselves. I'm not suggesting that you go off of your meds or anything like that, but what I am suggesting is that with the help of these simple affirmations and prayers, along with the guidance of your health professional, you might find yourself without medication. You might find yourself in a positive frame of mind, living a positive, happy, joyous life right here and right now and in every precious moment of your life. This life is precious. This mind is precious. This body is precious. All that you have been given, which is this life that you're living, is precious. And you are loved by God. And you deserve to be happy. You deserve to have your desires fulfilled. You deserve all that you can imagine. You deserve to be who you really are and to fulfill your potential. You can do that through some very simple, simple methods that I'm offering today that will help you to maintain your integrity, to come back to yourself, to realize who you are, to lift your energy into a higher vibrational octave anytime you want. And what do I mean by that? Well, we are vibrational beings. We have energy. And we can live in a low energy, which is hampered and dampered by negative thoughts and emotions, Or we can live in a higher energy, positive, optimistic, joyous, fulfilled, even when I talk about it. Don't you notice the shift in the vibration when I talk about being happy and being optimistic and being positive? Wouldn't you like to live your life like that? Positive, joyous, and fulfilled. You can do that through these very simple, simple methods. Affirmative prayers. This is not something that I just kind of made up off, this, you know, out of my concocted or something like this. This is the first verse of the first chapter of the Dhammapada that Lord Buddha wrote. This is in the ancient scriptures of India. 
everywhere we hear that we create our reality through our thoughts, our words, and our deeds. Now it's time to utilize that truth, not just to have it as a theory, as Deborah was saying. This isn't just theory. This is practical. This is something that you can use on a daily basis to change your life. And, you know, I have to say the one other thing I love about this is that anybody could do it. You don't have to be a strong intellect. You don't have to, because you don't have to go back into your childhood and figure out where it came from and was it my mother or was it this. Or, <laughs> it's just, you just use these and the shift takes place. Exactly. Really simple. It's so <sighs> simple. It's thrilling, really. It really is thrilling, and I know that everybody's listening because they did these affirmative prayers along with us. I'm sure that that we're all feeling this very, very high vibration energy that we'd love to stay in this place. So I would like for you to tell us some details about your offer. I'm going to tell everybody where to go. To access this package for yourself, just click on the special offer button on this web page. Tell us what we'll find there. Okay. Well, in that wonderful, wonderful package that I'm offering, which is called Instant Healing, How to Transform Your Life in Five Minutes or Less. Okay. So do you want to transform yourself and others through the power of affirmation? Because in this powerful, life-enhancing package, you're going to learn proven methods of spiritual healing that you can use right now to heal your mind, body, and emotions. So in this package, for only $97, that's an amazing rate of 95% off. In this package, you're going to be learning and practicing some very powerful, powerful methods of healing, such as the self-authority affirmation, the prayer of protection, the divine light visualization, white fire affirmation, thought form healing prayer, astral entity healing prayer, golden substance healing, psychic pie cut healing, facade body healing, and many, many more. Dozens and dozens of healing prayers. We only use three on this teleseminar. You're going to get dozens and dozens. Now, what you're going to get in this package is an audio teleseminar that's called How to Heal Negative Emotions in Five Minutes or Less. And you're going to be using healing affirmations to clear and cleanse your energy field instantaneously. You're also going to get a PDF file that goes with that teleseminar, which are powerful healing prayers and affirmations for daily use. It's been used by thousands and thousands of people to change their lives through learning about energy and energy fields and subtle energy bodies that we embody and and how to increase your magnetic attraction that I was talking about earlier. In addition, there's audio files of 35 spiritual healing prayers and this amazing, amazing audio program is so fantastic. It's got 35 amazing healing prayers that are as powerful or more powerful than the ones we practice today with beautiful, beautiful music in the background that is just going to enhance your experience. And you can listen to this, for example, in the car. If you're listening to these prayers on the way to work, by the time you get to work, you're going to feel so uplifted and so fantastic that you're going to have an amazing day. Then we have a set of four teleseminars. And those four teleseminars, the theme of that is healing the astral plane. And part one of that is healing psychic sponge syndrome that I talked about earlier in this call. The second part is healing astral entities, which are these negative vibrations around you that may be influencing you and impinging upon your energy field. Part three, healing 
psychic vampires, bonds, and karmic ties so that you can heal the, these old resentments and things that you've held on to and also heal from people who are trying to drain your energy, people who are sort of glommed onto your energy field or maybe you're glommed onto their energy field and it's really holding you back. Part four is healing negative thoughts and emotions, lifting your negative thoughts and feelings and emotions. And people have been using these, and I've just gotten so many, so many positive feedback from people about how these prayers have changed their lives. So I'd like for you to change your life, too, with this amazing package that's worth $1,650 which you can have for a limited time now for only $97. Well, I can say, in all honesty, I cannot imagine anybody not wanting this package. I mean, when you said the spiritual prayers that are going to have music behind them, just the thought of sitting and listening to those and the soothing effect I'm thinking before I go to sleep and then how to increase your magnetic attraction. And then when you said also that the prayers, you'll be given a PDF. So it's not just the MP3s, but they'll also be in written form so that we can read them easily. And then the teleseminar, I'm just talking about all the things that I got excited about healing, you know, the energy field from your energy field from people that are kind of globbed onto you. If you're a psychic sponge, which I think most of the people listening are thinking that would be me. It, this is just <laughs> absolutely really, and that's, we are, we're like the psychic sponge club on this teleseminar series. And we, <laughs> this is just so absolutely generous $97 it's almost like laughable that you can get all this for $97 it is it is laughable isn't it it's amazing it is it's it's absolutely amazing if you haven't done it yet just click on the special offer button on this page to see for yourself what an amazing package this is you will be so glad you did I'm so excited. I thank you so much. And I thank you so much for how much you gave us today. You're just incredibly generous. You are just such a beautiful person inside and out. I am so honored that we got to connect again after all of these many, many years. And I see why so many people say that what you offer has completely changed their lives. I totally get it now. And thank you. So I hope that our paths continue to cross. And I know that everybody listening right now thanks you also from the bottom of their hearts. Wonderful. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for spending this time with Susan and with me. I'm sure that you got an immense amount out of the last hour. I am just absolutely vibrating with light off the charts. I'm so excited. And I invite you to join us again for more new transformation strategies in the coming days. This is Deborah Poneman sending you love as always.